Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to create headings or how to modify headings. Now, to properly create headings in Microsoft Word, you should be using heading styles. So on the home tab of your ribbon, there's a styles group and in the styles gallery, you'll see these heading styles. So I've got heading one there and heading two there. Now, another way you can see these heading styles is to click on this button and that opens this styles window. And you can see I've got four heading styles there. Now, if you can't see all four heading styles, don't worry. They only appear as and when they're needed. So for example, you'll only see a heading three option there if you've already used heading two. And you'll only see heading four there if you've already used heading three. So you can see in my document, I've already applied some heading styles. So for example, if I click in introduction there, the heading one style has been applied. You can see it's selected up here in the gallery and in the list. Down here, this is a heading two. So heading two is shown selected there and there. Let's apply some heading styles to this section of the document. What I'm gonna do is click in this heading, which needs to be a heading one. So I select heading one there, or I could have selected it there. This needs to be a heading two and these headings need to be heading three. So it's as simple as that in terms of applying the heading styles. Now, what's also great about heading styles is, for example, say I wanted to change the look of the heading one headings throughout my document. Now to do this, click first of all into an example of the heading that you want to modify. So I've clicked into this example of a heading one then I'm going to right click on heading one in this list and choose modify. And I can also do that there. And that opens up the modify style dialog box. Now there's loads of formatting options here. If you can't see the formatting option you want to change, just go down to format here and then choose a dialog box from this list. So if I wanted to change the look of the font, I'd select font there. I could change the font the style, the size, and the color. Click on OK. It'll give you a little preview of how that font's gonna look. And then if I click on OK, you can see that it's changed all instances of that heading within my document. Now, another great thing about heading styles is they allow you to easily create table of contents based on those headings. So if I create a table of contents here, and I would do that by going to References, Table of Contents, and then selecting one of these automatic table of contents. And all it's done is picked up all of the text that has a heading style applied to it. The other great thing about heading styles is that you have some navigation features you can use with them. So if I go to View, Navigation Pane, here is a list of all the text that has a heading style applied to it. So for example, if I wanted to navigate quickly to this section of the document, I just click on it and it scrolls down to that part of the document. The other great thing about this navigation pane is that I can change the order of the contents just by dragging and dropping a heading within this list. So let's do this for this part of the document. I want it to appear above conclusion. So all I do is drag and drop it. And you can see it's changed its position within the document. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.